this video we're going to be talking about customize and how we can take an existing design and adapt it to the customer's requirements. So I'm just going to click three C's. I'm going to go to my design manager. Let's just whiz through these and I'm going to get down to my customer who is called John Doe. So these are the designs that we have. So we've gone through the search, we've compared, these are the rings that we want to have a closer look at. So this first one in the list, 1279, double click. Wait till that design loads up into the uh, customization screen and there appears the ring. Now this interface is a theme that uh, is embedded in the product. I've gone a little step further and put Stuller's uh, emblem in here. You could put your own in here, and this is something that uh, I'll either teach on another video tutorial, or you'll have to come to my um, primary training class and see how this is done. So from here, what can I do? Well, the first thing is how do you um, manipulate this on screen? So you've got your usual zoom, which is just your mouse wheel. Um, now one thing I always tell my students for matrix and for counter sketch is hold the mouse where you want to zoom. You don't point your eyes over here when you want to look closer at this. So you don't walk over here where my mouse is. You hold your mouse in the uh, in the area that you want to zoom to. I hope that makes a little bit more sense. Um, I, I do get customers from time to time doing this and then wondering why the rings disappeared. Uh, always hold the mouse where you want to zoom to. Um, right On the subject of mouse manipulation, if I right click and hold, I can spin the item around and have all the way look around this inside, outside using conjunction with zoom and have all, you know, look all the way around it. If I hold down alt, right click and hold, this is what I call a dynamic zoom. There might be more official term for it. This is very helpful when we come to the rendering part of this video uh, collection. Now if you get in a bit of a pickle, i.e. you do this by holding down shift and moving, so it turns into a hand and you're panning around and it's it's kind of going around the, the periphery of your vision and it's all getting a bit, a bit crazy. There's some buttons up here. I'm going to talk about these um, as and when we're going to use them. So you've got one here that does top view and locks the screen to only this view. Now right click and hold does it different, it uh, turns into a little hand. You've got through finger and again you can zoom in, um, side view and through finger. Now I like to use these views in conjunction with this button here which is a show hide grid lines. These little squares here represent one millimeter so you can ballpark the size of a given piece without going into the customization uh, sliders over here. So this is just over two millimeters wide here. Uh, the claws are about one millimeter wide and the, the stone, I can get that from the details, just so you know. Now in three quarter view I'd turn that off because it starts to look a bit technical, kind of takes away the uh, the panache and the, the bizarre of, of doing what you're doing. So over here what do we have? Design options. So the first thing is the ring size. What what size are they? Um, mine's currently set to UK sizing um, and you go from A to let's see what size does it go up to? Does it go bigger than a W? Actually we need to talk about that. It doesn't go bigger than a W. It's not to say you can't order it in a larger size. Um, I know some of us have heroic finger sizes. Um, so, starting from the top, so it's a size M, gem center rotation. I'm going to leave that one alone for a moment because with a round stone that doesn't make any sense because if you rotate around, it doesn't make any difference. Center, setting center gallery rail on or off. Any working jeweler will tell you that not having that on there is uh, a recipe for disaster, in all honesty, especially if this 
part of the shoulder is not attached here just the, the strengths you know your customers might want this because uh, it's going to let more light into the diamond but it's not a good idea um, so why is there a facility to turn it on and off well um, I don't know I just wouldn't <laughs> not have that on in this case um, gem center accent gems setting style now that doesn't work because you have to turn this on first which turns on these accent stones which are the stones down the side <coughs> excuse me so what does that do gem center accent style all that does is they are now channel set and when I click this off that turns the claws back on so that's that design. So let's say that he quite likes that the way that that is. Um, there's nothing else he wants to change. So we click save. Now my advice is pose this as big as you can get it before you click save. And you see that little animation where it went off the screen? We've got the design manager. There it is. So let's just shut that down a moment. Let's say I saved it like that. Save go back to the design manager it's really tiddly it's it's hard to see so my advice is no, I'm just going to delete that one is make it quite large before you save it so he quite likes that one that's on the short list so we're going to go to this next one uh, you haven't saved changes customization screen well actually I have saved it so I disagree so no this is going to open up my next design and we're going to go into this one with in a lot more depth so it's like yeah that looks beautiful but there's a few things I'm not keen on and being in retail for the amount of years I am I know when a customer's not on the same page you get that yeah not the yeah that's what I want yeah 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 smile tears you know waving have hand and all that good stuff gem center rotation again not relevant just yet um, setting center gallery rail on or off so I'm going to put that on because I like belt and braces uh, shank mill grain when gems are off the gems are on so we're going to leave that alone a second gem accent on or off let's get rid of that don't want that on um, gem center accent gems on or off so if I turn that off um, although that that profile of, of shank is not really doing it for me if I then click this it then puts a mill grain around that edge every to everybody to their own so let's put the gems back on because this is what he likes um, gem accent, so I think we've tried that one matching band contour, we'll talk about that in a moment uh, band gems on or off so let's go to here, let's turn on the band so now we've got a matching band and what that does is allows me to turn the stones uh, change the um, setting style on those accent gems Let's just have a look at that one. Hold on. Where was that bend? The contour. Matching band contour straight or curved. Now it's very subtle the change on that, and I'll show you what that's all about uh, in a moment. Let's just turn that band off a moment. So that's getting close to what he likes. So, gem center. Notice this stays open. So, let's have a look at this a moment let's change this to this shape oval and if I go back up to gem center rotation what happens is the whole stone moves in this direction so let's try this emerald cut notice it's that way click the rotation and it moves it around that way you know more traditional styling so let's go back to my round um, size of stone increase or decrease you're limited uh, to 0.24 on this design and up to 5.26 carat oh I wish wow that looks cool let's take that down to a more manageable size um, we'll take it to about just over a carat that's that magic number that the customer's wanting to go for and you can input the exact size and dimensions of the stone that you have in your hand out of your stock so let's collapse that 
let's go to setting style this is the claw shape so I'm going to change this to something a little bit more smooth I wasn't keen on that one you've got all sorts of different shapes so I'm going to go for that round the prong size um, if you go to this view turn on the grid like we did earlier the prong size is about one millimeter all this does is increases that millimeter size over the existing size so let's just see how big that's going to so that's uh, 0.3 millimeters above the one mil that uh, I think they are so let's just take that back down to zero um, I, I, I don't like chunky let's go to shank let's go to three quarter so we can see what we're doing let's turn off the grid let's have a closer look at this now this is when the gems are off so if we just scoot up here and we're going to turn those stones off temporarily and this is what this is showing so if I change this to this shape then we're going very smooth uh, let's change it to that one and just show you the various styles and there's, there is quite a few to choose from let's go back let's go for all round and let's just come back up to here you've got different shapes of the outside this is supposedly a euro shank which we don't use in Europe um, side thickness um, you can see this is a typical British designer side thickness let's just increase that to the max and see what that does uh, and that makes it very very chunky let's take that down to 1.7 uh, which is probably more like it. Uh, bottom thickness 1.7. You take that down to 1.5 if you wished. And this is this thickness here, this depth. Then you've got width buttons. So it's currently set at 2.8. So I can lock that. I take that down to 1.9. Um, and because I don't have any accent gems, that is is disabled on that. So let's just see what happens if I go back up to accent gems on and that is very very tight in there let's see what size those stones are because everything um, works in relation to what sizes you've picked so it's saying a 2.1 millimeter stone um, Oh no! Sorry, it's saying it's saying one millimeter stones because you've got a two point one millimeter. Uh, still, has got your back on this. That you you can't make sillies, and if you do make a silly, they'll correct it for you. Um, so if I increase the width of the shank, so let's say I took that up to two point five millimeters, watch what happens with the stones. The stones have gone up to one point five millimeters. So this has a. Let's just turn that off again. Let's go to gem accent. Let's just have a, a look at this so I can change this to Princess Cut on the shoulder. And if I increase the size of the stones on the shoulder, is it going to let me do that? Yes. Uh, wow, let's take it. You'll notice that the width of the shank matches the size of stone that of I have asked for. So let's just reverse this back a bit. Um, that one was changing the bridge stone shape. Let's just take that back to uh, brilliant because it has a bearing on the the shank up here. Um, so he likes the size of those stones, but there is uh, a little bit too many. So let's just move this back. So just walk this back. Let's take it to a more manageable size to his pocket. So I think five stones is, is quite a popular number of stones on the shoulders, and I can change that to three if I wish. Um, so that's that design in a nutshell, the things I can do to that design, um, of which there is quite a few permutations. But before I finish this customization, I'm just going to go to the band section and let's just have a look at this now this is very much a wed fit design in respect of the wedding band doesn't need to be contoured but if I did want it contoured let's just have a look oh here we go 
band one. This is a new tab uh, gems on or off, but he wants them on, so we'll leave those on there. Matching band, click here, and the contour amount. So this allows me to change the contour. So let's just go back to ring, uh, matching band contour on. Let's go back to band, uh, contour shape. Let's see what happens when we do that. I think I might have taken that a bit too far. Uh, contour amount, I could take that back. And that just relaxes that down. Anyway, I'm doing things that are not necessary on this design. I just wanted to show you uh, how that works. So, that's our first uh, foray into the customization side. So, are you ready for the next video? Goodbye.